got my car set up. Um, sun blocker, brushes, stuff. I'm gonna try this scene over here. I really like something about this corner. Um, so it's not gonna be a peaceful nature scene today. Definitely no peaceful nature noises, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have my limited palette here. Titanium white, cad yellow pale, medium red, ultramarine blue, and phthalo green. Okay, so first I'm going to focus on what I think is going to change the fastest, um, according to the light. So these shadows over here will probably be gone soon, or have changed. Here, put down the local color, which is what they call the big major color Look, there might be little variations in color but the overall color um, that's a bank over there oh no they probably wonder like what is that lady doing is she couching the bank is she looking nefarious I know somebody, I work with somebody who lives in this town now, so I can always invoke his name. Someone stops me. Hi, I work with so-and-so, I'm not a criminal. So this is the part in urban landscape, urban. <laughs> um, I will be the first to admit, like, it looks really bad right now. It just looks bad. Um, so you just have to try not to think about that and just keep going. Keep going because at this stage everything is undefined. It's blobby, it's blotchy, it just looks like a hot mess and it's easy to get discouraged. Just try not to think about it and keep going. to put down dark lines first. I know that some people will just, they would just paint this whole sky first and then they'd go back with like a liner and put on these dark telephone wires, but I like to put them down first so that one, I know where they are and two, so I can kind of cut around them it just works better for me um, and it creates some interesting happenings that I could not create consciously, I think. Okay, now that I put the sky in there, I can see sort of that this value here is not right of the roof it needs to be darker um so i can also go ahead and put these in these distant greens that'll probably help see the values too reeling in. I don't want detail right now. I'm going to go back and do that later. So, give an indication of where it is. There's the rail.
I want to get some of this detail in. Start working on this. Try not to be too too finicky right now. I don't really care about all the little window panes and lines and I just want to get like quick reflections, indications of reflections. But it is really windy out there. There's also really loud. Another window here. This is not an aesthetically pleasing vehicle, but it creates interesting color. This pop of orange that would not otherwise be there. I've had people walk by sometimes and they're like, oh, that looks so relaxing. And I mean, sometimes, but usually, no, this is not something that is relaxing. Um, it's fun, it's challenging, but a lot of times it's pretty stressful. Right now I can feel my, I can feel a pit of anxiety in my stomach. Um, pit of frustration, I think, because it was sunny and now it is completely overcast. I was not expecting that from our weather forecast. I honestly do want to stop right now because I think this looks really horrible and I feel like crying. But I'll keep going for a little bit. Okay, now it's time for little blobs and dots. I'm feeling a little better. Get some deep breathing. And I think closing the window helped a lot. That was just overwhelming. Um, anyway, so little blobs and dots. to give the impression of detail. Hmm. You know, I think that would be darker if it were sunny. I don't remember.
So then at the very end, I decided that was too much going on in there and it distracted from the main shape here. So I sort of took a lot of that out, but I indicated it with the brush strokes. Um, so you have the impression of all those wires without a, having to look at them. Um, and I think I will leave it there for now. Like, I'm glad I pushed through. This was a frustrating one, but that's how it is sometimes. Perseverance. Nevertheless, she persisted.